hello everybody it is very late um i've been trying to sleep earlier it's not working but i just wanted to tell you something really really exciting that happened today so as you know i work at my hive and today we had an event going on it was like an open house event we're redesigning our hive changing all the honeycombs you know <laughs> um so we were also giving away some prizes to just our residents and like people who are coming in and they're looking for a place to live. So we had some raffles, right? So the raffles were a little charging thing that charged your AirPods, your iPhone, and your Apple Watch. And then we also gave away AirPods with that. We also had an electric scooter, and it was really cool. It wasn't like one of those um, sit-down ride scooters. It's like one of those old-fashioned looking scooters that instead of you like using your feet to push, it's electric. And then we also had a little bundle with like one of our hives towels, it's like a little cool beach ball, um sunscreen a 50 dollar target gift card that was really cool and then like the grand prize was a gaming like a gaming bundle i guess so it had like a gaming chair a headset and then a keyboard mouse so we're doing the raffles and we're pulling the names at the end of the shift and one of the people that I live with, one of my roommates, she won the gaming stuff. I was like, oh, that's so great. I'll bring it to her, all of that. And then I, I was like, hey, you won this. And she was like, oh, that's so cool. But, you know, I don't, I don't play games. Do you want it? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you what I got because I was so excited. I have... Honestly, I never get excited over anything. I know it probably sounds like I do get excited about things, but I don't. I'm, I don't get excited about things. Like when my mom, when I was around 10, my mom was like, hey, um, I'm planning this trip and we're going to Disney. And I was like, oh, cool. And she's like, no, we're going to Disney, like in Florida. And I was like, oh, yeah, cool. And then she told me she almost can't like she, we talk about it now and she told me she almost canceled the trip because she was like, I hate this girl, like she's doesn't get excited, she's not happy, she don't appreciate me, but she should know. I don't I don't get excited over things. So oh my gosh, wait, I just noticed this in my wallpaper right here. Like I knew about this, like the Dead by Daylight symbol and the Dead by Daylight. But I didn't know the death is not an escape was right here. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I really like that. I love that idea. I didn't get to play today. But, yeah, I had a lot of things to do. After my shift, I came home, I showered, and I put together a game chair. And I am currently using a headset. I don't know if you can hear it. You probably can. But when I'm not talking, there's like a weird sound. Listen. Okay, see, like there, I I can't hear it, but I'm just assuming that it was there. But I hope that this new gaming headset is gonna work because it's Bluetooth. <coughs> Let me show you. Let me show you what I got. So this is the gaming chair that I got. Right, I think we bought it for like three hundred, but my manager said that she picked the things and that it's um. It's like a $500, basically $500 bundle. So I told her which gaming keyboard and mouse to get because that's the one that I have. And I was like, yeah, they would really like it. I like it. It's really good. And she's like, mm, I think I know better than you. I chose this one instead. And she don't even game. And I was like, how are you going to tell me what's good and what's not good when I told you I have this, get this? Stupid. Anyway. <laughs> This is my chair. I put it together. The cushion right here is super comfortable. I sat down and I was like, oh my gosh, it feels expensive. <laughs> so I was like, oh. So look at it. I put, I put like 
these parts together. It was actually really heavy. I had one of my friends from the, uh, uh, I have it crossed in the back. I was gonna fix it, but I, okay. And then, it's like that. Oh, so the pillow, it doesn't go around, it goes here. See, this wasn't in the instructions. Now I feel stupid. Here, I'm gonna actually fix it. Like, fix, I'm gonna be walking around. Um, I'm thinking about getting a VR. I don't know if I told you that. But I am thinking about getting the VR. Because I thought it might be easier to see, or for you guys to see, or for whoever's watching this, <laughs> to see me move around more and just do more stuff. Wait have it like that why is it why does it not look like that wait why is it oh it's because i don't have it like going underneath my seat cushion that's why it doesn't look parallel like that but the straps are really loose so it'll like hang i mean i'll try it i don't know if it i don't know oh no this is weird i'm like in the butt crack of the chair let me see which one I like better. Ow, it like pinched my skin. Okay. I guess that like holds better, but it, I don't know if it looks nice. Mm. I don't know if you know this. I'm a, <laughs> I'm not a person with extravagant things. I am not the richest person in the world. I am actually pretty far from there. So, you know, um, not saying that this is what people who are less fortunate do, but Dollar Tree is my best friend because honestly, even if I had millions and millions of dollars, I think I still would shop at Dollar Tree because they just have some good things and you can just save so much money. Okay, how am I gonna put this on? So this one, this part is up. That's what I thought. So for right here, if you do this, it stretches the elastic really bad. And I don't wanna like over stretch it, but at the same time, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna even use the pillow up that high because my head's not that big. And how are you even supposed to do this? It's only one strap of elastic, I just... Uh, I don't understand. So I had it like going around the chair like that, but it looks like shit if I do that. I just, <laughs> you just want nice things and I wanna know how to use nice things. Yeah, it's gonna like overstretch the elastic. I mean, I'm on, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, like the elastic is stretching so hard that it's like white, so. I don't know if I like that. Let me see, I'm gonna sit down a bit. <laughs> Oh, actually, actually, <laughs> actually, I like that placement. Because I have my chair, like, it's not sitting up straight. Oh, oh, the swambar support. <gasps> oh, bitch. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, it's. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, that's great. So, okay, so I'm a little short. So, let me see where I can show it to you. How do I? Nope. No, I wanna. Oh my gosh, I have to go through all of them again. Okay, so you see how this is here? I just pulled it up, so it's like, honestly, the pillow's like right here. That's where my lower back is, and this is where my neck is, and honestly, yeah, I fuck with it. Whoa, oh, uh, um, I don't know if you guys know, because I don't know, but do I get in trouble if I say the word fuck on YouTube? Like, is that how people get demonetized? Because I don't want to say fuck, and then they be like, hey, you say the F word, you're not supposed to do that. So, I don't know. What other colors? I like the black. What <laughs> So I saw the black blue, that's nice. 
But I'm not into blue like that. And that's a really nice, like, almost cerulean. Cerulean is like my favorite color blue. Black and red, that's like the basic gaming thing. <gasps> okay, that's kind of cool. But it kind of looks cheap too. You know how the. So there are some gaming chairs that are like cheaper. It's not like cheap, cheap, but there are some that are like. It, it's kind of like fake leather. So when you sit down, it's cold. <laughs> This one is like all cloth, and I like it. It's like breathable cloth, but I don't know, this one looks not as, I guess, professional as this one, I don't know. The red and black is nice too, but I don't know if I like red like that. Yeah, so I think these, I think this is more like the leather. Maybe this is real leather. Maybe that's why it's this expensive. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is what a lot of people have, like this pattern. And same with the red. Okay, cool. I honestly do like this one the best. I'm just seeing if this part is different. <gasps> oh, I didn't realize I have the leg things right here. Oh. Honestly, this looks like one of those, like, giant baby carriers. I'm not sure if I can pull it up because I don't want to expose my information and then go in and, and edit it again and all of that because I had to do that for the last one and it took me a while. And I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> but, because I just want to talk to you a little bit and then just post it because, ooh, fuck it. <laughs> I almost said whatever because I was like, maybe I shouldn't say a bad word, but fuck it. I'm not getting paid for this video anyway. I only have, what, like two subscribers and those are people that I know. So, yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> but I like this the best. This is actually like pure metal. So when I first put it together, this was really heavy. Like just sitting down and like moving it with one hand, it was... I could move it, but I mean, you know, it's like, oh, it's a little, you know, hefty, you know? Yeah, so. Yeah, I really like my chair. I sat down and I was like, oh wow, it does feel like $300. That's so nice. I love it so much. I think that, I really wanna buy myself nice things, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't have enough money for that because, you know, I'm working and I'm in college and I would really like to not work and just focus on school, but I have to because I'm broke. <laughs> so, that's why I'm working. That's why I can't buy expensive things. Like at the grocery store, I would love to buy, like, like if avocados are not in season, I would like to be like, hmm, maybe I will buy an avocado for two dollars just one avocado for th two dollars but i'm like no i gotta buy them when it's buy two get it for like two no what do you do it like one is like 98 cents each i'm like okay this one is good so yeah but at the same time i really like saving money so even if i had money i feel like i would still try to save money wait five foot five is recommended to be five foot five i'm gonna be i'm like two inches right i don't want to look it up because i don't want to oh i don't want to get in trouble secret lab chair not a fat guy chair <laughs> Well, I mean, I heard that there was a chair that was like an extra large chair, like quote unquote, but I thought that would be cool. Hmm. Okay. And then this is the headset that I have. Oh, so nice. I haven't opened it yet. 7.1 surround sound. What does that mean? Okay. I don't know what this means. Please. Please educate me. 
Wait, that's a lot of hertz, right? Because I think talking, like the talking hertz, just like having a normal conversation, I think that's 15 hertz. No, it is 55 to 60 hertz, I believe. So that's a lot of hertz, but that's really loud and can damage your ears and that's not good. <laughs> So hopefully that mic is better. I'm gonna try it next time I talk to you guys, but I didn't open it because I was, I was so tired. I have, I don't know what's wrong with me, but last night I was in bed and my sternum area started hurting really bad. So all day today, I was just, my sternum is hurting, has been hurting so bad that when I came home from work because I was working and I had to be like, hello, and you know, customer service. I um I came home and it was just I couldn't breathe because it hurt so bad. So I was taking like short breaths and I've been taking short breaths all day. And yeah, it's not good for your body. Your brain needs oxygen. But yeah, I have a foam roller because everybody should have a foam roller. It's so good. Um, but I have a foam roller. And I was like, ooh, when I press on my sternum, because this has happened before, it's, I've had this pain so many times. Sometimes it's on my sternum, sometimes it's like right under my left, <laughs> my left, you know, like chest area, you know. I guess maybe like not the pectoralis, maybe like under, uh, you, you know what I mean. So. Sometimes right there will hurt and I have to like press on my ribs and then it'll help. But every time I press on it, like on the pain, it numbs it for a little bit so I feel normal. And then I let go and it's like two times as sore. So I had the very smart idea of taking the end of my foam roller and pushing it into my sternum and I was just like kind of laying on it. I was like, oh, this feels so good. I can finally breathe, and then I got off of it, and I stood up, and everything just hurt so bad, so it was like six times the amount of pain because I like put my body on it. That was not smart. Do not do that. <sighs> Puts you in the middle of your game. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wait, so will this also feel expensive because... I, oh, <gasps> oh, wait, but it's not like I could go to Walmart or a grocery store. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I guess I can say that because, you know, I'm not getting paid anyway. So I guess I could, I couldn't go to Walmart and talk on the phone using this because they're going to be like, what the fuck is that girl doing? Or that bee, the female bee. I'm not a queen bee, but I am a female bee. So, they're gonna be like, what is that female bee doing with a gaming headset in the middle of Walmart? So, yeah, I'm probably not gonna do that. But I wonder how it connects wirelessly. Like, does it connect through? Oh, wait, you can't. Ah, uh, that'd be cool if you could use it like for your phone too, so you can talk on the phone. I guess if you have a MacBook, you can plug the USB into the MacBook, and then you can talk on the phone through like FaceTime audio, and you can like do dishes, and you can go. <gasps> that sounds cool. Oh, Discord certified. Okay, maybe. We need this, but I'm also getting the VR, and the VR has had like ear areas so you can hear, and it also has a microphone. So I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing here, but this is really cool. IQ? What is IQ? Help! Somebody! Educate me! I didn't know! Wait, oh, I thought that was part of the microphone. I was like, the microphone lights up? RGB lighting? Is it just here? Just, yeah, it's probably just like the... 
the ear. Maybe I'll do an unboxing in my next video. So I can just be like, oh, look at this. Even though you can't look at it, look at it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I don't really, I don't need the light, but like, oh. Does it charge it? Wait, the headset stand has surround sound? What? Okay, lighting. Wait. Synchronize? Oh, uh, I was like, does it synchronize to your voice so it doesn't blink like when you're talking? So like, hello, how are you? You know. Does it have a stand? Does it have a speaker in it? That's really weird. But does it charge the headset? Does it, do you charge? Do you charge? You charge or do you just light up? Tech specs? Oh no, no tech specs. Oh. I mean, Rubberized base. Rigid. <laughs> Rigid. Um. Yeah. Oh, on any headset. Oh, so I guess you can plug your headset in here, and then it'll plug into your. I don't know. I don't know. I want two monitors. I'm actually looking to get another one because. Then I can be like, oh, look, we can look this up. And I can just like, boop, boop. And then I wouldn't have to worry about editing everything out and it taking forever. Does it? I mean, I would assume it charges. It charges, right? Is it, does the headset stand just... Hello? Does it, do you, do you charge or are you just there to look pretty? Why doesn't it say? Bitch! Anyway, this is the headphones that I got today and then these are, this is the keyboard that I got. So I said, don't get, I saw this and I was like, mm, that one looks I don't want to bash on the company, but I was like, the one that I have is better because I know it's better because I have it. But, you know, apparently if you, if you like to play video games and I like to listen to you about gaming supplies and blah, 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 you, you don't know any better. My manager is a female too, so she, I don't know. It's not even like a, oh, I'm a guy, I know better because... Girls don't play video games or whatever the stigma is around girls and video games. But, I don't... Hmm. So, I was thinking... Oh. Breathing speed? Ugh! Mine doesn't have a... Well, mine kind of has a breathing speed, but it's only one. One breathing speed and it shuffles the other colors and it's really pretty. But... I think I can change it to where I can set it with the software that I came, I don't know. I didn't look into it because I was like, I don't know if I really care, but yeah, this is the one. I was thinking like if I had more people following me and watching me and all of that, I was thinking I could give this away because I don't need it. But I know someone would really appreciate getting this for free. I don't know how much they got it for. Because I looked it up. And I found a bunch of different prices. So let's just do this. All of it. <laughs> Bing. Because you can't see my, my, um, my history here. Okay, so it's anywhere between, let's just say it's like $50 because that's what Amazon says and usually Amazon is about right. Mm. That 
yep, yep. Oh, I'm tired. So, I got this one. I would like to do a giveaway, but I feel like there's not enough people that watch me because I only get like what? Like a few views per video, so I'm like whatever. I guess if somebody wants it, I can give it to you. But, you know, maybe I'll hold on to it and be like, hey, remember like three years ago when I had that keyboard mouse set? Um, yeah, so now that I have 10 subscribers, one of you can win this, or you can be in a giveaway and win this keyboard mouse set that I've had for years, but I never opened, so technically it's still brand new. Maybe that would be fun. I'm not sure, but, yep, that's, uh, that's what I got today. That, that was my day. It was so busy. And, uh, I came home, and my friends, or, mm, I don't know if they're my friends, but these people that I play video games with, they're like, let's play Fortnite. And I'm like, ew, gross. But, we still played Fortnite, because there was no point in me being in Discord, and it's not playing games with them. So, I played. It's boring. I don't really like Battle Royale games. The only, okay, the only Battle Royale game that I really, really, really like is not even like a Battle Royale game. It's Tetris 99. That game is my favorite game. Oh, I love Tetris, but I don't have a Switch, so I can only play it when I see my friend. My friend brings the Switch because my friend is really nice. But, yeah, that's it. I need to look for another, what's it called, mouse pad? Yeah, because my mouse pad that I have now, it's so bad. Like when I move my mouse, my mouse pad moves with it. It's really bad. Let me see if they have gaming gear, <gasps> streaming gear. Oh, the mouse pads, wait, mouse pad, wait, ambient lighting. Don't tell me these are just lights that you buy. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. They are just lights that you buy. What? Oh my gosh. What? Do you remember when the water speakers were a big thing? So when you would play music, the water would like shoot up into this little like... It was like a little... Like square or rectangular box looking thing. It was just... Everybody thought it was cool. I thought it was kind of lame because I was like, oh, it only just shoots up. It doesn't do like different stuff. I never had one, so I didn't know because I was like, oh, I don't want one. But wow, it shoots water vertically only and it changes color. Oh, wow. So I never bought one of those because I was like, no, that's kind of lame. So these for 130 that is expensive but I mean how big are they oh they're pretty good size but still 130 for two mm, no 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 no. Mm -mm. no 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 you only get two that's an order oh my gosh I gotta get it just for this no, I'm just kidding. But I guess that's good. Let me look at the mouse pads because I just want like a regular plain old mouse pad. <laughs> you know you're broke when. Sorry, I'm like scratching my eye. Okay. So cloth mouse gaming. Cloth. Cloth gaming mouse pad. I think. Cloth mouse gaming pad. Oh my gosh. So is the bottom like a non-stick? Or it, oh yeah, it has that. Yeah, mine doesn't. Here, let me see if you can hear it when I push it across my desk. Yeah, it just slides around. So, gotta get a new one because I do not like that one. But I did get it from AliExpress for a dollar and fifty cents. 
or maybe like a dollar sixty something cents but yep it's time to get you replaced because i don't like you because you slide around and it makes my wrist hurt i wouldn't buy it for ten dollars that's bad Images or shopping Like I could get this but I already have like a wrist rest for my for my mouse and my keyboard Oh, I could do this But then what if the entire thing moves? Well, it probably won't because my keyboard mouse or my keyboard mm, Non-slip rubber Lies That's what they said about the one that I have now Wait, how do I No, I just want to but, let me look at it. Uh, okay. Eh. Could I? Eh. Oh, fuck this shit. Anyway, but yes, I have, I have a whole, hmm. mm. yeah, I saw it on him, I was like, mm, purple, but also like, mm. I think I do prefer mine better just because I like everything like plain black because if it's not plain black then and if I get white everything has to be white I don't like the two-tone color thing but yep that's what I got today that's what I did um oh I don't know if you know this but I really love drinking tea this is just like a I guess a closing before I leave but so I really like to drink tea and I was talking to my cousin on the phone and I was like, hey, yeah, I really like tea and blah, blah, blah. I have a lot of tea. She's like, oh, how many do you have? And I was like, oh, let's count them. I have 22 teas. I have a lot of different flavors of teas. Well, one of them, I counted it as one, but it's a tea sampler that I got. And I think it has five or six different flavors and three different servings of tea for each flavor. But I counted it as one. So, I guess I have 21 teas plus a tea sampler. So that's a lot of tea. Mmm. I love tea. I bought some David's tea because I was watching some Simply Neological because I can't watch Jenna Marbles all the time. Well, I mean I can, but, you know, I start, I don't know, I really like Jenna Marbles, but she said something about Simply no logical in one of her videos when she does the ramen nails. And I was like, hmm, let me watch her. She's probably about the same as Jenna. And she is, but she's not as... Um, I don't want to say this, and it's like a cringy word, but it's like quirky. It's not quirky, it's like cute. Well, Jenna, she's like cute, says whatever she wants. Very laid back but energetic and she's just very i don't know she's very comforting and i just want i would like her to be back but i understand that she has some things that she wants to do and maybe she's not happy with doing youtube because it causes her stress and i understand so i would love if she came back under like good circumstances to where she's like, oh, I missed you, and but I feel like maybe right now she's enjoying not having to do YouTube, and I honestly think good for her because she needs a break. Anyway, I was watching Simply No Logical, and I found out she also likes tea, and I was like, ooh, she likes tea, and then I saw how much tea she had, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want a tea collection too, and this isn't what started it. What started me getting like five more teas was 
She's like, ooh, this tea, David's tea. I drink that, and I was like, David's tea, what is that? And then I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so good. I read all of the, um, I read all of the tea flavors and all of that. I looked through every single tea flavor because I'm OCD and I have to. And they were having a sale. They were having an, if you buy an Earl Grey tea, your entire purchase has free shipping. So I was like, oh fuck yeah, I love free shipping. Because usually, I think on David's tea, you would have to buy $50 worth of tea just to get free shipping. Or $75 worth of tea. But I spent a good bit of money on the tea because even though they were on sale, they were still kind of expensive. So I bought some David's tea and I only tried one so far. I don't like it, but I think it's because it's, I don't think it's the tea itself. I think it's just the flavors that are in here because I've never had Ruibos, Ruibos, Ruibos. I never had that. And then I don't know if I like rose hips, but that's the main ingredient in this one that I tried. I don't know if I have ever had it and I was like, ugh, gross. <sighs> Maybe I have. Maybe that's why I don't like this one. Ooh, but this tea was $2.39, so I was like, mm, even if I don't like it, I must still drink it because tea's really good for your body. It's just basically plants and hot water. And how good is that? But, you know, I like to make my own bubble tea with them, so, you know. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, this one, it has rose hips, apple, ruibos, honey bush, echinacea, natural honey flavoring, rose petals, marigold flowers, marigold, marigold, marigold <laughs> flowers, pink cornflower blossoms, cornflower petals, natural flavoring, with stevia extract. Fenugreek seeds and red clover flower. I have no idea what most of it tastes like or what the taste of the ingredients are supposed to be. So I, I don't know what rose hips taste like. I don't know what ruby bush tastes like. Honey bush, don't know. Echinacea, I think that's a sweetener. Rose petals, maybe. I like rose flavored things, so maybe. I don't know what marigold flowers are supposed to taste like or the pink cornflower blossoms, or cornflower petals. I don't know what fenugreek is. Fenugreek seeds, sorry, I don't know what that is. And red clover flower, I have no idea what that is. But I mean, honestly, basically, I was like, oh, let's buy the $2.39 tea because it's $2.39 and also, the title of the, or not the title, the name of the tea is called Be The Change, like B-E-E, -E, like me, I'm a bee, Be The Change. And I was like, oh shit, I fucking love bees. I'm gonna buy one. So I did. And now I think I regret my decision because I don't know what, it, what oh, oh. my my arm rests, they move like to the side I don't know why but they moved to the side so I moved it and I was like ah I'm dying <laughs> but oh, I don't know what most of them were supposed to taste like but I guess I'm gonna learn oh man wait I have more than just those teas I have two more cause I went to Trader Joe's and I bought two teas it's like this pomegranate white tea and this blood orange one. And I'm excited to try them. But I've been working so much, I don't have time. All I've had time for is black tea because black tea, black tea and this Ceylon tea, like this Sri Lankan Ceylon tea, because those have a lot of caffeine and that's what can keep me going through the day. Not like coffee, because I can't drink coffee. It has too much caffeine for me. So I'll like drink coffee in the morning, and then I can't sleep for two days, and I already have sleeping problems. Obviously. But, yeah. I can drink black in the Ceylon tea. Ceylon tea is like pushing it, because I think that one has a little more caffeine than the black tea that I have. But, 
Yeah, that's all I drink in the morning because I'm like, okay, I need energy. So, but I did buy some David's tea, like maple chai and like a cardamom one. And I'm so excited to try it because I make, I have um, chai masala from my Indian grocery store. It's, or it's, um, it's an Indo pack grocery store. It's so cute inside. I love it. Um, wait, what did I say I bought? Fuck. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I said. I bought some things to make Thai tea though, because they have all of the spices that I need because for some reason, Walmart doesn't supply me with, or it doesn't supply all of the spices like it doesn't supply all of them like cardamom oh i know what i was saying i was saying i have so i make um a chai tea or well chai i make chai because i have indian chai masala that you mix with black tea and it's so good so good and it's good for you it has like ginger and black pepper and i think it has like cardamom and other flavors and it's just so good i love it and it like it helps warm the body so it's really good for winter time or if you're in a cold environment like me i work in the office that's actually what i'm gonna drink tomorrow good idea honey yeah but i bought some things to make high tea so yay i also know how to make this hong kong style milk tea is really good. It's basically just, hmm, should I give it away? Hmm, should I give away my secrets? It's basically um, just regular black tea, or like black milk tea, and then you just add like an espresso shot. Oh, well, the way that I make it is I make my black tea with um, hazelnut flavoring, so it gives it like a nuttier taste, and then that's when I mix in my my um, espresso shot or like some coffee or something and that one tastes really good yeah I'm losing my train of thought a lot so I think maybe it's time to go to bed so I'm gonna leave I hope that you all have a great rest of your night stay safe and how to stay inside for right now i know everything feels like it's dying down because everybody's getting the vaccinations and they um it just feels like no one's really talking about the death counts every day but it's still happening this person yesterday they posted on instagram it's an artist that i follow like a like an art artist that I follow, their uncle passed away from coronavirus, and then they shared it with us. First off, very brave. Really appreciate that. They made a comic about it, about like a a time that they remember, like a memory that they had with their uncle, and I thought that was very sweet. It made me really sad. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of people are still passing away and still getting sick with coronavirus. So try to stay inside. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. I don't know who you are right now. If you're watching this. Or whoever's watching this. I don't know who you are. But I do want you to stay safe. I would like if you would stay safe. Um, I don't know if you know. I'm the mom friend of the group. So I'm always the one... You need a bandit? I got it. I got a sewing kit in my bag. I have like a toiletry little pouch in my bag. So I have a lot of things just because I'm like, what if this happens? Maybe it's my OCD too, but I'm the mom friend and I want to mom you and I'll say, hey, make sure you limit your interactions with people. Make sure you wear masks. Make sure you wash your hands and all of that. But I know sometimes it might get annoying. So I just wanna, I just want you to stay safe. If you can do that for me, that would be great. So, I'm gonna let you go. I need to go to bed. 
you need to go to bed and we both need to be productive and I need to sleep earlier <laughs> I oh my gosh I almost told you I loved you oh my gosh this is this is way too early we are not gonna have this it's too early in the relationship for me to tell you that but I care about you even if I don't know who you are I will <laughs> So I care about you, and I just want the best for you. But I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for talking with me and just listening, listening to me ramble and tell you about the raffle prizes that I got today. I really had fun today, just not having to worry about, oh, I need to play a game. So that was great. Thank you for letting me do this. Okay. I guess I'll buzz off because I'm getting annoying and rambly and sleepy. So, I will talk to you later. Bye!